Our history is our pride, and we Indians can do anything to preserve it. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sharad Klapsing. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nandini Kumar, and we are from the Stadium Mitrapur. We would like to present our work in front of you all. As you can see, the title for our work is Abhratin Bhala. Now let's move forward. Introduction. Preserves cultural heritage. It defines the true identity of a country. This meaningful thought truly sticks to our country. Sometimes people say that India is a man of Mahasamudra and we Indians can truly relate to it. Our monuments use very good concepts of mathematics and sciences. For example, the Ranakko Jain temple situated in Rajasthan in which the idol is clearly visible even though there are more than 1,444 carvings before it. That's truly a treat for the eyes. Now, let's talk about the basic fundamentals of our work. The idea is that we shall create an application called Prabuddha Bharat. This is a small step to break the stereotypes and the perceptions made by the West about the Indian culture and also make Indians aware of their ancient time and uplift themselves. Uh, this, let's, look, let's give a look at this number, 3650 number of registered monuments in India. That's truly a big number. And the fact is that many of these monuments are not in a proper state or they, have, they don't have an entry fees. Such a revenue loss. Some of the beautiful words said by Stephen R. Covey. Strength lies in the differences, not in the similarities. Now, we'll talk about the basic features that the app possesses. First, some of the monuments of India that hold architectural importance related to mathematics and science would be registered in the app irrespective of their popularity and condition. <coughs> the app would track customers' location and recommend the site accordingly. Third, at every monument or site, there would be a QR code. By scanning it, we will get all the information about the app, uh, about the monument and <clears throat> it will also tell about the landmarks present in that area through a map. These are some of the illustrations that show how the app works. Now we are going to discuss about the goals and the motives for, for which we have made this app. We have a vision to revolutionize the world of tourism industry. For that, we have added many things as told in the previous slides. Apart from these benefits, this app will generate employment and opportunity. For example, locals would be hired for recording audio of the information in regional languages. Also, they can work in other departments like IT, accountancy, etc. It will indirectly or directly generate more businesses and everyone could be the part of this ecosystem and thus serve the needs of the tourists. Get hands on it. Check out our app, check out the app and be a wonder. That's truly a great application. <clears throat> this is a self-sufficient app which means that it can earn for its own and also for the government. For that we have a merchandise. Check out our merchandise on the Prabhupada Bharat app. Thank you and have a great day. Now, Nandini, Nandini will carry on. Please. Hi everyone, my name is Nandini Kumar and today I will be presenting my idea on the restoration of buildings and monuments with the use of latex emulsions. Background and purpose. Uh, monuments are part of our cultural heritage. So they are big, the big source of information, education and inspiration but they need to be preserved due to several reasons. Where and here due to age. Poor civic sense among citizens the biggest of demolished pollution. Here are some challenges that we face during the conservation process. Lack of manpower, the lack of skilled workforce used to start the conservation process. Lack natural calamities and pollution. India being a tropical country, extreme temperature conditions are normal and they may affect the exterior and the looks of our monument. Lack of funds. Lack of funds due to less budgeting for the renewal of monuments. Lack of civic sense. Little to no civic sense in citizens is a 
major part factor of the deterioration of monuments. The solution should be simply use. No special skills should be required. It should be cost effective. It should be inexpensive and fit to use in long term. It should provide protection from environment and surroundings. Thus being the solution to the problem of lack of civic sense and the natural calamity of pollution. My solution is the use of latex-based coatings or paints. They are extremely quick to dry and they cover a lot of area. Let me show them on the You need to dip your brush into the tin of latex and then you can apply it on your monument and it's going to dry extremely quickly. Let's see a few more points on the latex. Unique. They can be applied to any surface imaginable, marble, steel, tile, etc. They, they are environment friendly. Latex doesn't limit harmful fumes into the atmosphere compared to other paints. They are used and tested. It is used for both environment, it is used for both industrial and domestic purposes. And they are also used in other buildings outside of India and have proven their metal against many abrasions. Here are some references that I used. Thank you.